Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Beatdown here, and guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the different graphic settings that you can use in Hogwarts Legacy. Now, this game has five graphic modes that you could use from. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each graphic mode and explain what you get with each one. So, the first one that we're using right now is called Fidelity, okay? Now, what Fidelity does is it runs your game at a native 4K and gives you a locked 30 frames a second, okay? Um, it's very, very good at 4K. The graphics are very crisp, but again, that frame rate, as you can see, um, is very, very slow. It's choppy, right? 30 frames per second was good back in the PS4 days, but you know we've been spoiled with having um, locked 60 FPS on some games and very close to in others. So anyways, I'm just gonna walk around a bit and just kind of show you um, how this room looks from this angle. I'm going to just show you the character model. And then I'm going to head back to the other side of the room. And you'll just get a better idea of how the lighting and everything works. All right, so again, guys, this is fidelity mode. So what I'm going to do now... All right, guys, so now we have fidelity with ray tracing. Now, what Fidelity with Ray Tracing does is it uh, gives your game a 4K native resolution with Ray Tracing obviously enabled, but it's not a locked 30 frames a second, okay? It runs very close to, but is not locked. All right, so what I'm going to do is just uh, show you the room and just show you how like the the lighting looks. Now, you can already see from... The fidelity mode that it does have better shadows it has better lighting whereas the other um graphic mode kind of drowned out everything with the light so if we look down here it's not as blinding so it is a nice mode um again it's going to run close to 30 frames a second um but i don't think it is locked um so anyways that's fidelity mode unfortunately when you want to switch between the modes fidelity mode requires sorry the fidelity uh, with ray tracing requires that you reboot your game uh, whereas the others just allow you to switch so we are going to head over into the other graphic settings right now and we are going to do performance hey guys so now we are in performance mode now what performance mode is is it allows you to play the game at a locked 60 frames per second at a resolution of 1080p so you do drop a lot in graphic fidelity but you gain all that in performance. Now, it all comes down to, like I say in most of these videos, personal preference. Um, do you want the 60 FPS or do you want more of a graphical resolution? Now, um, I think that this game offers great visuals. And in my opinion, I would go with something with a higher um, resolution. Now, right now, you can't really notice it, but when you're playing the game you will notice it in cutscenes especially looking at some of the characters faces the details are really really good they have a lot of wrinkles a lot of cracks all that stuff um hair follicles so on and so forth so when you get that close up you're really going to notice it um on a 4k resolution now 1080p it's going to look a little more drawn out so anyways again performance mode is 1080p at a 60 uh, FPS and again it's locked so let's head on over to balanced mode which I think is going to be the one that most people choose it's currently the one that I'm playing on for my campaign so let's head let's hey guys so this is balanced mode in Hogwarts Legacy now balanced mode allows your game to run at a native 4k while maintaining a locked 40 frames per second now if you are on a 120 hertz monitor you can unlock this mode as well as you may also go and unlock the frame rate cap so to do that you just have to go into your settings and then you're going to go into display and then there's going to be cap frame rate so if you turn this off it allows you to get higher than 40 frames a second so i was playing around with that earlier today 
and I was actually getting anywhere from 47 Some frames per second all speed. the way up to uh, 69. So if you are going to do the balanced mode and you have a 120 hertz monitor or TV, I would recommend doing the uncapped uh, frame rate just to give yourself that edge. As you can see here, this game is gorgeous no matter what graphic mode you choose. Um, and yeah, so this is balanced. This is the one I'm going to be playing on. And this is the one that I assume and feel most players will choose if they have, again, a 120 hertz monitor. So now, guys, we are going to go into the final uh, graphic setting, which is performance high frame rate. Hey, guys, now we are in our final graphic setting, which is performance high frame rate. Now, this is a... A graphic setting that you might only be able to access if you have a native 120 hertz TV or monitor. I'm not sure about a 60 hertz TV that has that program or that option to recreate an artificial form of 120 hertz. You can try that out and let me know in the, the comments below. But um, from what I've read, you do need to have a 100 and 120 hertz native monitor or TV to run this. So what you get with this graphic mode is a fantastic 120 frames per second locked at a resolution at 1080p. So again, you drop a lot in graphic fidelity, but you gain all that in uh, performance. So if you have a 120 hertz TV, you might as well just go with this over the normal performance mode because you stay at the same resolution, but get that extra 60 frames a second. So if we look at the character model, You'll notice that because it's 1080p, you're losing a little more in the details. So the, the uh, freckles on the face aren't showing as much. And if we look at the hair follicles, they're a little more like almost tinselly. They look like tinsel kind of that you see at Christmas. So the detail you're losing there. And uh, but again, you do get it in the frame rate. OK, so things are a little drawn out in terms of textures. But again, it all comes down to that personal preference of whether or not you want performance or resolution. Me personally, I like a little bit of both. So that's why I'm going with balance mode, um, which I think a lot more people are going to choose. But anyways, guys, these are the graphic settings for Hogwarts Legacy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know what you prefer. And I will see you next time in my uh, next video, which is going to be part three of our Hogwarts adventure. Take it easy.